stay six feet apart, wash your hands and social distance. That's the message from university physician, Dr. Jeanette Archinal, and what you can do to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. I spoke with Dr. Archinal about other ways to limit exposure from the classroom to off campus. Are you comfortable with me taking off my mask? Yes. Okay, thank you. And that's what we need to do. There, we know that COVID-19 is spread mostly through respiratory droplets. Um, so that means stuff you breathe out your mouth, stuff you breathe out your nose. Dr. Archnell says wearing a mask is the single most important thing to protect yourself and others from getting the virus. My personal philosophy has been for the last few months, assume I have COVID, assume everybody else has COVID, wear a mask. Respiratory droplets can also live on surfaces, meaning there's a few extra precautions you can take. When you walk into class now, you'll see the desks are six feet apart, but before you sit down, use hand sanitizer, wipe down your chair and desk, and always keep your mask on. When you venture off campus for errands, Dr. Archinal says to wear your mask, use hand sanitizer, and limit contact if you can, like doing a drive up order at Target instead of going in. If you're visiting a downtown restaurant, eating outdoors is always better than indoors, just because you've got more air circulating. But there's no reason not to eat indoors. I've been doing it over the last month or two. Dr. Archinal says you can still go to your favorite places and have fun as long as you're being careful. And we're not all going to be able to be here in person if we're careless, if we're selfish, if for some reason we think we're special and don't have to follow the rules. Dr. Archinal says the biggest risk is being in crowds without a mask. According to the CDC, being closer than six feet to someone for 15 minutes or more without a mask puts you at risk for getting the virus. Dr. Archinal also says it's important to remember that up to 40% of people will be asymptomatic when they test positive for COVID-19. So even if you think you feel well, you should still follow all the guidelines.